welcome to Taste It, episode 8. Today we're here at the Bond restaurant at Juan Monquera for a tasting session. My name is Jennifer Ong and I am the host for Hapa TV. I'd like to take you around um, to have a look at the modern and chic design of this place. This is one of their most popular outlets among all the eight outlets of the barn. Come, let's have a look at the nice place. As you can see, all the design is very cozy, very cozy ambiance, very nice, suitable for families and uh, friends. It's a casual dining restaurant and they serve Western dishes and Asian dishes. Today we'll be sampling some of their new signature dishes, including an October best platter. And uh, guess what? Today we also have some new tastes, which I will introduce you to them if you follow me and have a look who's going to be inside the room. Getting all the food ready with chef. Oh, I personally mm. cooked this with the entire oh. team here at the barn. So, boys and girls, in this episode of right. Taste It, we are in the barn. One more Kiara. Yes. And uh, well, what's our episode again? Today we're in episode number eight. We've been to eight different restaurants, and uh, today we're going to be here tasting all the new dishes. I think mainly the, all the new signature dishes, including I heard the Oktoberfest. Yes, Platter. so today's menu is quite special. Uh, some of it is quite exclusive. We do have exciting new dishes that are only available during the month of October. But before we introduce to you what we're gonna eat today, again, my name is Kevin and this is Jen Ong, but we do have two very special tasters joining us in this episode of yes. Taste It at the Barn. First Hello. is my very dear friend, Jaisal Lim. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank, thank you so much for joining us oh, for today. Jaisal, I haven't seen you uh, wow. since the beginning of the pandemic, which started oh. 28 years ago. So tell me oh, how yes. you've been. Yes, I've just been at home. This is my first day out. Oh my God, it feels so weird, but it's good to be mm -hmm. with you guys, you know? Tasting food. Yeah. You're still really fit. Ah, oh, thank you. You're still really fit. And you really love food. Yeah. I love food. Look at her, guys. I Look love at her. Food. She yes. loves food, but I love. I love. Because you food. work out a lot, yes. right? So I have to feed myself. Yeah. I right? feel like if you are the kind of person who works out throughout the entire six months of MCO, you have earned the right to eat uh -huh. whatever, whatever you want. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. no one, uh, no one is more exciting for me to to, to talk to tonight besides Jaisal, mm -hmm. but Eugene. Ha. Ah. Eugene is um, from where? From where Hilton, Malaysia. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a marketing. He, he yeah. works in the It's from department. Hilton, right? And um, I'm very excited to meet him for the first time today. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so maybe Eugene, you can talk to, you can tell the audience a little bit about you. So, what's your surname, Eugene? So, okay, is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's fair Olaf, enough. Sir. Olaf, sir. There Olaf, we go. That's a good it? pronunciation. Okay. So, like the snowman, but okay. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, um, I work with Hilton. Uh, I run uh, Malaysia, Philippines, and Vietnam in this area, all of the marketing and communications for mm -hmm. it, at least. Um, it's great to be here. I've been in Malaysia now for, I guess, three and a half years, right. and uh, I, I'm really loving it. Like the food scene, the culture, the people, it's been a really good trip so far, right? Are you a very adventurous person when it comes ah, to food. food in Malaysia? Because <laughs> ah, you're so from South Africa. I'm from South Africa, and we have some, we have some funky stuff, but yeah. I, I think that I've seen a couple of things which are extending my boundaries <laughs> <laughs> in well, Asia. <laughs> what are we going to do? He took an ex not so accidental glance at the menu that we have curated today. Okay, what are we one having of, today? One of the yep. dishes that we're reviewing right. is something that all Malaysians love. Yes. It's called rat noodles. Uh, we love Shamed. it. 
he's never had it before. <laughs> and it's rat noodles. Uh, one thing is, do you love rat noodles? I love rat noodles. I love rat noodles. noodles. Yeah. But have you guys had rat noodles with Iberico? No. 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 Yeah. So that's exciting for me. Wow. Rat noodles with? Iberico pork. Iberico pork. My God. You're going to so have to I, rat I'm noodles. I'm very nervous that it's got rat in it. <laughs> Oh, oh, you'll the see. The thing is, they are, they're the ones from Ratatouille. They're Disney rats. Yeah. And there was something else in the rat noodles. Yeah, prawns. So Ooh. highly nutritious, very flavorful, kind of crunchy. Yes. And as you can see, we've already got some of the dishes here. But before we begin, I will give you the honor of opening the clay pot of rat noodles. <laughs> oh. so okay, excited. let's have a look. What is it? Let's, should we have the... Um, okay, wow. are we going to... Wow. Smell it. And so, why don't we get David with us? We can he can tell us about. Yes. Okay, let's let let's see what Eugene's reaction is first. Eugene, what's what's your reaction? Actually, Come in fairness, on. I have seen this before, mm -hmm. um, and it smells pretty good. Oh, it looks good. pretty cool. Okay. Um, and it's got dried prawns in it. it. <laughs> you don't think it's got a rat in it? Were you actually worried that we were? <laughs> hey, Jason, you yes. were actually horrified that the rat noodles had rats in it. Yeah. Why? I mean, has it got rats in it? You're adventurous, right? You did say. Oh, hmm. I think <laughs> I think we've got so many dishes today. We have. Okay. Got, um, what do we have? This is the spicy tenderloin pasta. Okay. Right. Here. right. We've also got um, a pizza, the roast pork pizza, on the right, okay. and most importantly, I think um, you guys cannot miss this. The most gigantic dish right in front of us that is the uh oktoberfest special it's pork knuckle and pork tomahawk platter Ooh. so i hope you guys are big pork fans yeah we are that's that's all we mine are. right is that Can no jason oh, it's oh. not it's gonna be shared is that a challenge yeah, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> okay. okay okay someone very special is joining us today for okay. this episode of taste it and it is none other than the man behind the brand. He is the brand manager. He's the GM for branding right here at the barn, including all eight or seven, eight of their outlets. So please help me welcome, joining us at the table, Mr. David. Right. Hi, David. Hi, How are you doing? Hi, Hi David. Thank Hi. You. Hi. Hi. Giselle. Right. Jean. Thank Glad to you. have you all here. Yes. Oh, David. Okay. Yes, sir. How have can I help you? You personally tasted all of this. Um, actually, out of the four items, yeah. three of them is uh, I created. Oh, you you create your own yes. dishes? Yes. But you're and not the R and D chef, also. You're obviously behind. also the R and D chef. Really? Yes. Oh, a right. man with many talents. Right. Uh, <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Thank okay, you. so Debbie's gonna take us through all the dishes. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like us to Okay, which one? Which should we go first? Okay, first thing first, I would, I think you should try the pizza first. Uh, the pizza. Enjoy it while it's hot. Okay. okay. And um, barn is proud of pork. We okay. serve. Okay. So we're gonna cut into the to the. Pizza. We're gonna cut into the pizza. Do you, guys see this? do you guys see this? I'm a genius. You are. You are, Kev. <laughs> Using a spoon. I will do this. Okay. So, um, here's an important thing for us to tell everybody who's watching. Okay. Uh, we would really like to remind everyone not to share utensils when yep. you eat outside. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister has just given a speech. If the cases keep going up, they will consider uh, locking down certain states mm. again. And okay. right now, over a dozen ministers are currently in quarantine. So you know that the situation definitely needs to be addressed. And okay. we are taking as many steps <gasps> as we can. Everywhere you go, nice. we would like to remind you to please register your... Um, locations uh, with uh, the app. Yeah, the My Good. Sajatura app. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get second My lovely plate. Jaisal. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. Wow, it looks really oh, good. I know. So, David, tell us a little bit more about this um, pizza. A oh, pizza. Okay. Yeah. So, is it is this one of your signature dishes? Yes, this is one of the dish that we are really proud of because right. um, the roast pork actually is made. The roast pork is made um, okay. daily Just in right. our outlet, right. and we do it twice a day. Um, every ship will do a, full, a fresh batch, so we actually do our own seal yolk in house. Right, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, so so this is something this is, is fresh. Like the seal yolk is a fresh batch. Of, yes. Of, of Even the dough, also we make it daily, and we have to let it. Um, we have to let it sit for about twenty-four hours before we can use the dough. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because we need to ferment it. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you mind giving me some of the hand sanitizer? Yes. Because I can smell I, it. I don't oh. want to It smells so good, guys. You know what? Pizza is much better when you eat it with your hands. Yeah, isn't it? Thank you. So you it's just really, have to, smells good. Just have to okay. make sure your hands are clean. Okay, so are we ready to dig in? Yes. Yes, yes, please. Oh, before that, can we just have a cheers? Yes, yes. we should. Okay. Okay. should. October 1st. Oh, so healthy. Cheers. Look at you with lemon. Cheers. 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 Nice cheers. to see you guys. Nice. Cheers. 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 Okay. It's got to be Polida, right? I mean, October 1st, yes. yes. guys. While they're, while they're tasting the drink, I have to remind each and everyone joining us today in this episode, uh, remember, at about 7 p.m. today, we're going to run a competition. Some of ah. you will win a fabulous prize, right. and Jaisal will be giving you a password mm -hmm. and also the exact instructions at 7 p.m. Yes. So make sure right now, don't go anywhere and join us as yes. we taste a pizza. Yes, okay. So just want to say hi to the audience. We've got Michelle Chung, Mozart, Chef Mozart. Hi, how are you? I haven't seen you for a long time. Uh, Elvin, hi Elvin, you're here. Rui, Carson's just signed in. Uh, oh, Chong, I said the pizza looks good, David. Thank okay. you. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna tell you how it tastes. Okay. Oh. We've, all guys, betrayed, we've all betrayed you, Jen. You We're guys, you just said it. Look at them, look at them. Pizza, <laughs> pizza. I mean, this Ang Mo guy, I understand, is okay. Ang Mo, right? I mean, these two What's Asians. That? Guys, they're eating with what? David, is this the way to eat pizza? Uh, no. No, I'm right? You're to eat it with hands. Ah, yeah. you're going to do it this way. Mm. Kevin, Kevin, mm. it. Oh. oh, that's a big bite. Mm. And they enjoy the cool of the cheese. I love mm. it. I love it. This is genius. Tell us more about the ingredients, because I know the roast pork, and there's so much. And the roast pork is really good. Mm. The roast pork, we actually roast it twice a day. So you we do it, it for it. lunch, and then we do another batch for dinner. Right. Yeah. What does that add to the flavor or the um, texture? There's some, some spices that we use. Mm. Yeah, we do the, some five spice mix with, together with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You know, I have never right. had shoe yolk pizza. Yep. Never. I have? Oh. I've never had. I've never had. The first time. First time shoe yolk pizza. Right? There are mm. a couple of places in Malaysia that have you had it? Pizza. No, I've yes, never had it. Correct. Mm. correct. But Let's hear what they think, cause, cause let's let's see, Jaisal, what do you think about the um, pizza? I love it because I still love our Asian food, but if you put Asian fusion Western, this is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Vegan, so like, thank you. That was a good job. It's yeah. my first time trying this. Oh, Eugene, let let's try. hear from Eugene, who is <laughs> adventurous but doesn't like smelly no, food. <laughs> oh okay, sorry. It's just smelly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, David's sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is really good. It's got like a real smoky kind of thing going, and then Thank you. If anything covered in that much cheese is mm. always going to be good. Right. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. but I think it's a blend with, uh, you know, the the roast pork and the cheese that actually blends in really well, right? Yes. You talk about fusion, you talk about Western and Asian. This is one of the dishes Correct. that you should. Yeah, that's really really. And I mean, if you. Piece of ice, right? mm. like the flour is good. It's Everything is yeah. homemade, practically. Yeah. Other than we don't do our own cheese, we purchase the cheese. Okay. The rest of the things is actually we make from scratch, so including the dough. Like we dough, we roll our own dough with right. fermented dough right. to bake. Okay. I'm also under the impression that this is one of your uh, more popular uh, yes. products, and even yes. across your branches and all over like online delivery, you know, food mm. delivery, people love this. It's so Correct. cool. So we're very lucky I mean, to try on. this today. Yeah. And um, mm. honestly, I've, I've had um, cereal. Pizza before, but this is the uh, the cheesiest one. Mm. Cheesiest one. And there's also some spices on it, right? Did we put Tabasco yes. sauce on no, it? I no, we did I didn't. I did didn't. We didn't. No. So yeah. what is that? Yeah. So what's inside the, here? The spice is already enhanced into the roast pork. Right. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That's why you. So get it's the from flavors. the roast pork. Yes. Wow. Mm. Mm. Right. So do you season the roast pork? Yes, we do. Yep. And how long do you season the roast pork for? The roast pork, we actually have to season it for 24 hours. Okay. 24 hours. Wow. The season for okay. 24 yep. hours. So guys, if you love suyuk, if you're a suyuk fan, I know Louise, you're watching Louise. Uh, you know your husband, right? Liang loves suyuk. This is a place to come and try suyuk pizza. You gotta come and try the suyuk pizza. Okay, I'm getting a bit excited. Sorry. No, just, just be very careful <laughs> with, the, uh, okay. with the vibrations. Okay. However, we do have other We're gonna go to the next dish. To yes. today. Mm. Okay. What else would you like the second to Second dish I would like you to try is the capellini, the spicy um, tenderloin. Okay. So we're gonna show spicy. you guys yeah. the spicy 
tenderloin, tenderloin pasta. pasta. Yes, it's a beef tenderloin. Okay. Tell me more about this dish. Yeah. Actually, this dish, um, it's a combination of Asian and uh, Western, where um, we use this uh, capellini and Capel beef tenderloin. But right. later, when you taste this particular product, um, you will you realize that it's it's a little bit like Thai, but it's not. I'll let you all try first before I explain. That's exciting okay. because as yeah. far as Eugene, you live in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried oh, something yeah. like this? It uh, looks friendly, but it's not that it friendly. Actually, it, oh, it's really? got that Thai yeah. kind of look about it, in fairness. There's like, there's something about it which I could say is Bangkokish in a way. Bangkokish. Yeah. Bangkokish. But we <laughs> say that word. Bangkokish. Bangkokish. Okay, so, so we're going to dig in. on the pasta. <laughs> Okay, so David doesn't want to talk about it until we try it. So yeah, we're okay. going to dig in and try it now. Yes. All do I can I, say, it looks I friendly. Again? Yes, can Kevin. Can I get a new, um, can we get perhaps a new fork? Sure. No, David, you didn't have to go. Just Hold someone on. could bring me a get new you fork. fork. Also, we might, might, we might want to... Uh, yeah, I think we need to up. sort of... Mm. I'm so excited because I cannot wait to like dive into this. It is mm. so much and it's so over the top. But right now, let's have a bit of this. Okay. Um, so, it, what it, David, what were you saying? That it looks friendly, but it may not be friendly? The pasta, it looks very friendly, but actually it's... It only not looks that friendly. friendly? Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to help you with the pasta? Yeah. Okay. You so, maybe David, sure yeah, maybe Dave, David no, not, should do it. Okay. Let me help you with this. It's, okay, David this is so easier. embarrassing. <laughs> Kevin, no, Kevin. I just put my hand in there for one second. He was like, would you... I yeah. put my hand in there for one second. And, and he, he can said, tell, right? No, because and then uh, Kevin, Kevin doesn't do it well. Kind of. It's not that, uh, it's just because okay. the pasta has been sitting there. So, so, so David, show, show the audience how, right. how the mixture is going to look yeah, like. Okay. Like, how do you really need... Yeah, and all I want to do is going to... Mm. need this plate. Yep. I kind of used the pasta. I don't mm. The pizza. I don't mm. Mm. Just mm. This pasta. Oh, that is a lot of pasta. Mm. If you love it, you'll finish it. Don't worry. Okay. Exactly, Kevin. Okay. I went swimming. Did you exercise today? There we no. go. I went swimming. Oh, that's good. Then you need to eat. Don't make me feel guilty. I didn't. I feel okay. good about myself. I'll be gentle. In my own time. apartment. Okay. Where else do you oh, think? Sure. Not in the Hilton. That's I can tell. That can say that much. <laughs> okay. No one ever invites me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Eugene, that's a hint. The steak. Thank you. Oh my God, you're so good. <laughs> Just okay. let me help you okay. with this. How many times have I? I've, I've been here a few times, a few times. Yeah. The, the, I like the food. There's this one time I was working mm. in, uh, in Hilton and they, they gave me my own room before the show. And I was supposed to share the room with the crew. Thank you. Yeah. You're most welcome. Nobody Thank showed you. up because they thought the room was mine. That's so nobody great. went into my room and mm. there was just like a buffet. <laughs> And, and I just called everybody, I'm like, the staff needs to come in here and eat. This is not my room. Everybody's supposed to have access to this room. Yeah. It's not locked. There we go. Okay. And it's just the best pesto There you go, Eugene. You can Alone? tell. Okay, can guys. I, I, I wanted to tap out at home. Okay. <laughs> no one ate it. Now, we're going to see how Eugene takes this because I, apparently I heard it's a spicy tenderloin. Yep. So, uh, let, let, let's see what Eugene... Let, <laughs> okay, Eugene's going to tell us. Okay, let me see. Okay, verdict. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's, it's prepared really nicely. You know, okay. The steak is, the beef is really, really good. Right, okay. Really nice. And it's not too spicy? It's not too spicy. Um, I can eat very spicy food. Okay. But that for me is good. Okay, yeah. that's good. Let's see what, <laughs> what, oh. Oh, oh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin has a, <laughs> <laughs> has a problem. Kevin has a problem. Kevin's like... Jaisal. Okay. No, Jaisal. You Kevin. need to have a piece of the beef. It's so good. It's so flavorful. It's <laughs> unexpectedly flavorful. It's, it's different. The beef. Really? Zoom into her no. face. <laughs> Look at her. Okay. Mm. We're going to try. Okay. We're going we're gonna to talk about that. Okay. This is what we're going to be eating. I can't even... I don't want to. I love it. I don't want to swallow it. I wanted to taste. I wanted the, the, the smell mm. taste. I went on my tongue Ooh, forever. This is so good. So good. I want more of these two. <laughs> I'm going to tap our bags. I will for my husband. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not you know enough what? for he your husband. That's not enough for him. That, that oh, yeah. That's not enough for him. But oh, my gosh. It's really, really okay. good. Okay. Okay. So so I'm this, not this lying. This is what we're, we're having, guys. Look at that. This is what we're having. Oh, sorry. 
Now, you want to okay. tell us more about the pasta. You can sure. tell us more about the pasta now. What would you like to know about the pasta? How is the beef prepared? Yeah. Um, the beef? Uh, what's inside? What's inside? Tell us the whole recipe. The whole recipe? <laughs> Well, Reveal it. Okay. Just a Actually, bit. this this dish is uh, something that um, sometimes this is a very feminine dish. It's, it's a lady's dish. When when I create a dish, I always focus whether it's for it's, it's for a lady or it's for a guy. But okay. this this more towards for the ladies mm -hmm. because number one, ladies love spicy food and also a bit the food with a bit of acid. Yes. That's why when we cooked, this particular dish actually has a lot of lemon juice and we use fresh lemon. Wow. Fresh lemon? Yes. Okay. So it you do know continue. women well. well That's great. Nice. Yeah. If you want to keep your ladies, you have to understand their tummy. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. also for the meat wise, also we we chosen to use the tenderloin. Mm. Yeah. And we actually slice it thinly. And right. we didn't really do much of seasoning. Uh, the most important thing is tenderizing it. Yeah. Mm. Is how we melt it. Tenderizing too much? Do we don't like use tenderizing. Is it long enough or? No, actually it's cooking it short. Short. Yeah. Okay. High fire, short. Keep mm. the outside mm. cooked, but keep the inside medium. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, I would like. I would just like to say that even the pasta itself, because of the lime, yeah. it's one of the my favorite pastas. Yeah. We've had it is. Five or six different. We had. Yeah. So we had. Pasta. Different, correct. But this is so. Asian. I like it with lime. I really do. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, you know, what you say is really true, David. You've got a bit of a. Uh, by the way, it's. Is that chili lemon. patty? Yes, it's chili it's patty. It's got a little yes. bit of chili patty inside, yeah. and it's got lemon, lemon. Mm -hmm. taste, which which I love. I don't know. Do you love? Do you love, guys? Love, love it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Eugene, how are you doing? <laughs> I like that. Why 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 are your veins popping out of your forehead, Eugene? Tell us more. <laughs> So I tried the chili patty and that's when I really got spicy. Right? Like that's that's when I felt the spiciness about it. Are you a big fan of spices, like chilies? Because you live in Thailand, I, Malaysia. I, I, I lived in different parts of Asia for mm -hmm. quite some time, but the chilies in Malaysia, in Vietnam, mm -hmm. like, they're hot. They are super hot. Actually, the chili, it all depends. Example, when we buy our chili, we have to know where it comes from. Even like the bird eye chili that we are using, we right. have to know whether they are coming from Vietnam or Thailand. Those that are coming from Vietnam is even much spicier yeah. versus Thailand. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that's why we have to be. in Thailand, I can eat, but here I battle. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Like really? red curry in Thailand, I just and red curry or red chop, yeah. I don't know what it's called. I cannot eat that. Oh, it's it's way too much for me. This might probably be a restaurant, right? Yeah, I but for this particular dish, yeah. what we're trying to do is we don't want to spice you. We don't want to really like burn your tongue. It's actually supposed to burn your throat. It mm. sort of give you that, that, that sexy hot. Wow. That sexy hot. <laughs> okay, I sexy always call hot. it that. It's, it's always like, you know, give you that, that, that slow burn instead of hits you on your tongue. Right, right, right. Okay, so it's we're going to move on. It's also very interesting because of the noodle selection. What would be the good third option for us yeah. to try on Which one should we go first? Okay, then we should go for the, the third option, we should go for the low shi fun. Oh, now yeah. we're going to see how I'm Eugene really takes it. Are you it. ready for your low shi fun? We yeah. should. Can we get some new, a new plate for Eugene? Sure, yeah. let's do that. Jason and I are finishing our pasta. Oh, I am. We are just eating this. I am cleaning oh. it. I deserve. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Can we get some There new we plate? go. <laughs> get you Thank a new you. plate. Okay, Eugene. Eugene's gonna try the rat tail. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. You're most welcome. Okay, this particular okay. dish is what very simple. You need you to stir it, Eugene. You need to stir Eugene's it. Eugene's gonna do that. Eugene's gonna do that. So is there yep. a particular way that I'm supposed to do yeah, it? Yeah, it's gonna be. So it's yeah, let the let the South Eugene. African man. So so let Eugene, so let the South African man do it, right? Okay, let's see how Eugene does it. <laughs> We're judging I, I, you. I, I, we're judging you. This okay. is used. So we're going to do it this way? Nope, nope. No, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Follow your heart. You can just <laughs> use the... Yes. Yeah, whatever it tells you. Okay, just, just stir <laughs> it. Oh, that's not going to work. There. Oh, look at all the rat tail. Oh, do, you, do you smell the dried shrimps, Eugene? Oh, the aroma starts oh, to come up. It's going that way. Yeah. The smoke. Yeah. Let me, it let me just help you. Good. Yeah, it smells okay. <laughs> this I can accept. It doesn't, yeah? it okay. doesn't have that. Here's the Iberico, uh, mm -hmm. low shifat. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, why we say that it's a tweak between the Asian and the Western food yes. me is, is East meets yes. West because we use the Iberico Beautiful. pork. The minced pork that we're using okay, is Iberico. Okay, so Chef, can you... Uh, Chef, yeah. Yeah, yeah, David, yeah, David yes. can you tell us more about this? Sure. He actually is telling more about it. Um, yeah. Sorry. One of the, the special thing about this is the fact that it uses Iberico pork instead of our yes. regular okay. Malaysian style. Of Correct, the normal minced pork, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So we actually use Iberico pork. Imported from Spain. Right. Wow. From Spain. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know Iberico pork is a very popular. You can start serving. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to do that. Okay, that there, Eugene is yeah. going to sub us. Is that a popular uh, dish? In yes. In the restaurant. This dish is getting uh, more you. popular recently because we we launched this particular product probably about two months ago. Always more for me. Yeah, and the it. demand started to <laughs> increase. I'm small, is but I'm everything in the restaurant pork based? Do, do they have? Like the, uh, is there any chicken it. or beef on the menu? Yes, we do. Me. I mean, we. I mean, to us is uh, we focus into pork, but we do have other uh, meats such as poultry, like chicken, yeah. lamb, yeah, and yeah. also beef. Oh, uh, like the we, pasta. Then earlier. the pasta definitely pizzas. Mm -hmm. and we also have seafood. I mean, we oh. carry certain so seafood. So you do low shi fan with seafood too? No. Is that enough? We have other dishes that uh, that has that uses right. seafood as right. a protein. Right. And I understand that you also have mm. a very wide selection of wines food. for people who dine here. Yeah. Um, do you usually recommend your customers what goes with the food that they're ordering? Actually, in our restaurants, we always have wine ambassador. So ah, the, uh, okay. the responsibility is to actually introduce wines First of all, they will understand the guests, such as what kind of wine do they like, mm -hmm. what type of bodies do they like, and then right. what kind of food do they um, they order. Right. So they will try to pair for the customers. Okay. Yeah. okay. Shall we dig in to yes. the low yes. shipa? Yes, please. Yeah. So, so um, there is someone who's Miss Miss Ling actually say lo shifan. That's interesting. Yes. So it's actually lo shifan, which is the rat tail, together with Iberico pork. Yes. And dried shrimp. So, I think no. I need to take. I need to. I, well, hold on. I need to look at Eugene's face. We're gonna look at how. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. Let's oh. just see. Can we see? Good luck. <laughs> okay. That's how he eats red tail. A South African guy taking red tail. Eugene, tell us about it. No, it's good. <laughs> no, it's nice. It is nice. It's good. He's, he's like it's no. No. no, okay, it's got, no, it is. It's got dried it. shrimp in it. Tell us, what, can you taste the dried shrimp? Can I can't, it? it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting okay. that like really strong, fishy kind of smell, but it's not like it's that. Not? It's okay. not, or that fishy kind of taste. That it won't goodness, have, we, we actually soft. dilute, we actually mellow down the dried shrimp's flavor by having ginger inside. Mm -hmm. right. So we actually, when we cook the time, we actually have ginger inside, so that would neutralize sort of balance of the, the, the um, fishy flavors of okay. the shrimp. But the shrimp also adds a, a different bit of a texture, Correct. right? Just like the Iberico uh, uh, pork bits. Correct. It adds different texture into the thing. What do you think, Jace? Oh, wait, let her, let her swallow. Let her um, enjoy her food for a second. Mm. Zoom into Eugene's game face, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. I love it. Can you taste the Iberico pork? I, I think I can because usually you know how your low chiffon tastes like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one has a bit more different flavor, mm -hmm. but I really like it. And I just had one um, dried shrimp, and I love dried shrimp. Okay. So it's good. I'm having more the dried shrimp than than you are. Thank you, Jean. Yeah. <laughs> and so take it's great. It okay. So guys, so this is one of their uh, new dishes, right, David? Yes. Yeah. So new dishes. It's the Iberico pork low chiffon. with low chiffon and dry shrimp. Correct. So if you like pork, Iberico pork, not just any pork, Iberico, Iberico, Iberico pork, pork yes. and you like uh, dry shrimp, you're going to order this dish, right? Mm. Okay, and it's already available on the menu. Uh, I think it's going to be. It's right. been on the menu for the past two months. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. I think it's going right. to be so much like more exciting. Uh, I mean, um, more addictive if, if we ate it like just now when it was freshly served, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like burning hot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, Becky's 
Olafsa right. is saying that this is an interesting thing to look at from South Africa. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us more yeah. about Becky's. Yeah. So tell us more about, yeah. So what do you want to tell Becky? I'm, I'm sure that's family. <laughs> <laughs> One of my many seven Facebook followers. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Jizzle. Yes. Mm. Okay. How are they going to win the prizes? Oh, yeah. It's 7.05. We're a little okay. bit late. Tell us more about okay. what's happening. So if you guys want to win the 50 ringgit cash voucher, all you got to do is like this video, mm. share it as many times as you like, but share it and also comment the password, which is half a barn. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to spell it? H A P A B A R N. There you go. I be, I beat you. You guys are so nice. I, <laughs> I, mean, you I, mean, I was busy eating. I just, went, problem with Kevin. I just went, they know how to spell half a barn? Who's <laughs> what? <laughs> but uh, we would like to say though, um, usually we say, oh, you got to do it as quickly as possible. But today, uh, I know a lot of you guys are, you have your own plans. You might be watching this video later. But as long as you share this video and leave a comment, within the next 24 hours, yeah. which means by 7 p.m. tomorrow, mm -hmm. we will be checking all your comments and see if you shared it or not, because we can tell if yeah. people share the video. Yeah, you need to video. like it first. Like and share. Yes, okay. Like okay. And share. okay, they need to like and share. Kevin. So, uh, as long as we can tell that you've liked and shared the video and you have the password, you might just be one of our five winners. And the password again is... Half a barn. <laughs> Okay, but, but there's something else. <laughs> Kevin, that's a problem. With your mouth. Yeah. That's a problem with Kevin. They'll never give you the very, answers, very. right? Kevin, we'll guard. never give you the answers. So. Half a barn. Okay, that there is, is a answer. code. There is. There so is so a when code, you arrive right? when you arrive here at the barn, you do have uh, to scan a QR code. And uh, we will, uh, if you're the winner, just bear in mind that we will tell you what to do once you have won the prize so you can do the QR thing and yeah. come here and claim your prize. I really want to eat some more, so. Okay, so I think on the screen, you will see a QR code right now. Right now on the screen, you will see a QR code. Chong Ai, Li Ling, and uh, Michelle Cheong, um, <laughs> Johnny Chu, Alicia, they're all so fast. Okay, They're so all you, just immediately. All right, just, so Chong Ai, um, Ellis Ling, Alicia Tiro, and Michelle Cheong, Johnny Chu, you guys gotta go scan the code. There is a code, scan the code. And that is a code that will go bring you to the barn app. Yeah, to the barn app. But if you miss the code, you can just go into the Google App Store and, and download the app, the barn app, because you need to have that details before you can claim for all the, the vouchers, right? So what yes. are all the vouchers really that we have? Him. I'm um, just trying to like pay attention. Okay. So what are, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about Kevin, time. Kevin's 80. Okay. okay, so what are the vouchers that we have? What are the vouchers? Okay, okay, so we've got vouchers that are... <laughs> 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 you just ask her and then start talking. <laughs> okay, so what just came to my mind, mm -hmm. uh, you've got uh, drinks vouchers, like you've got a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, yes, yes, you can claim a, a bottle, bottle of, wine, of wine, but there's a minimum spend like 20 bucks or something. And then you can actually come, you can actually claim for uh, a glass of beer and 50 ringgit cash voucher, Ooh. which you can use. Yeah, I'm claiming this. No, you're like, not. Jaisal, we can come back no, here, not, right? Yes, we can. You, you hey, you David, do yeah. you mind if we just come back here tomorrow night or? Yeah. Every night. Sure, no problem. Okay. <laughs> so, so please remember, you need to first like the video, share the video. Yes. Key in the, the, the password, password, which Kevin doesn't want to tell you, but Jaisal's I'll nice. say it. It's half, half a barn. <laughs> Jaisal's a much nicer version, yes. a female version of me, so. And then, you know, register. Uh, and then of course, you know, claim for your putting the details and you can claim for all your vouchers, including a fifty ringgit cash voucher. Mm. And you can actually use this in all the eight outlets. I think they've got eight outlets, Eugene, isn't it? All yeah, together. so right. I might need a little bit of help remembering some of the names, but okay. I, there's this one that we're in, uh, One Mon Kiara, right. Desert Park City, IOI, City Mall, Pavilion KL. Cheetah Mall, Gurney Plaza, wow. Mid Valley, and yep. Sunway Pyramid. Okay, yes. so all eight outlets, and they can claim all the vouchers in all the outlets, mm -hmm. right? So you can go to any of the eight outlet outlets and claim the vouchers uh, with the same QR code. What I want to know is, um, are we happy with the low she fund? Oh, I love it. Yes, I love yeah? it. 
Actually, yeah. I'm not a fan, yeah, to be honest. Nice to be honest, David, I yep. don't fancy half boiled eggs. Like, I cannot take, uh, I cannot take egg yolk that's not cooked. Yes, right. I, I just, oh. ugh, I like, like, don't put any egg yolk that's not cooked in my dish. I will not eat it. I will not eat it. I'm, but, with, I'm with Jen. Right? Yeah, I cannot I'm eat like, that, but God, this one is fine. The smell is like, <laughs> but the, I'm so sorry, ladies. The whole point is to mix it yeah, into yes. your food. Yes, Correct. you know what? You know what's interesting, Kevin? You know what's interesting, guys? Tell me. Okay, I will never touch a dish that has raw egg yolk. Never. I never. I will never eat it. But knowing that Eugene was stirring it, seeing that so-called raw egg yolk mm -hmm. being mixed being mixed yeah. in but then i tried it and they said there's no smell there's no that that e you know that why would that <laughs> raw <laughs> egg smell that I mean, you know what i'm talking about i know i know exactly what she's talking about right because i can't either I can't it is just I'm, I'm not used to your it your husband eats 20 eggs per meal no, he, but he not does raw eggs. but it's like not really raw it's still i just cannot mm. Right Dennis now. Yin, are you watching? Ooh. Leave a comment. Call in. <laughs> Call in right now. Okay. I'll give you my phone number. Wait, yeah. he has my number. Yeah. All right, cool. let's move on to the third dish. Okay, come, let's, let's come to this dish. Let's move on to the okay. fourth dish, which is Ooh. a just platter. Okay. Do you want to move this away? That is specifically designed for the month of Oktoberfest. Okay. For those of our friends who may not know uh, what Oktoberfest is, I'm sure Eugene knows what it is. Eugene, could you tell our friends <laughs> um, uh, what Oktoberfest okay. means? So, it's just a big old celebration in Germany where there's loads and loads of food just like this, loads of beer. Um, I think it's a, it's, what is it, it almost a 13 or 14 day celebration? Yeah, wow. it's non -stop it's just getting non stop getting drinks. Yeah, all day, every day, 24 hours basically. Um, it's that one with the ladies that have had the beers all the, up there, oh, yes. so they're carrying 10 beers at a time. Yes. It's loads and loads of fun. Right? Okay. Okay. I've, I've had my fair oh. share of Oktoberfest platters, but this <laughs> uh, this might be one of the most dramatic ones I've yeah. seen. Really? So I cannot wait That's to good. see how okay. it translates to taste so David, and texture. So David's going to tell us more about all the dishes. This here. particular dish. Okay. Yeah. okay tell what us we it. have over here is definitely one of the, the most important one definitely is the knuckle. So this knuckle practically weighs about 1.2 kilo before we brace. So after we brace it for about three hours, um, it will drop to about a kilo each. Oh, and wow. okay. of course we have our, we do certain, put some spice and herbs to really brace it. Mm. Yeah. Same goes with our tomahawk. Uh, we actually brine it for eight hours. Yep. This is, the tomahawk, the, the this is the tomahawk, the yeah, the giant piece. The giant tomahawk. piece is a tomahawk, the other one is a pork knuckle. knuckle. Yes. Um, where do you think this is inspired? Is this inspired from anywhere? Um, for me? Yeah, Germany. Uh, just, um, for me, actually, it's just Malaysia. keep on thinking, looking at um, in the market, not many people. Uh, you, you can't find much of pork tomahawk in the market. No. Yeah. no. So I just figured out that why nobody come up with this idea. So. I just I'm decided a to big, do big this. fan of tomahawk. Tell us yeah. about the side dishes. What are yeah, they? Yeah, what are the, the side, side dishes? The side dishes that what we have here is, um, of course, when it uh, comes to having a pork knuckle, definitely you want to have sauerkraut. And okay. uh, we have uh, came up with the uh, local sort of Asian flavors uh, sauerkraut. Right. Because most of the time when we buy those imported sauerkraut, they are a little bit too, the, the texture, and also the flavor is a little bit too sour for the local yeah. mm -hmm. taste bud. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a little bit surprising for yes. people who are eating it for the first time. Correct, you feel a little bit too salty or too too sour. So I sort of I create one that just suits the local taste bud. Mm -hmm. um, then um, definitely the sausage, this uh, right. sausage, a cheese, a chicken and cheese sausage that we're mm -hmm. serving. Mm -hmm. um, the interesting one will be the uh, Potato salad. Yeah. Okay. Tell this us. This particular what, tell potato salad actually it's um, eats it's practically east meets west. East um, meets west. Yeah. Okay. Potato salad is practically a a, a west western food, right? I'll, I'll help you to cut. And uh, <laughs> when we like, did the flavoring, <laughs> when, when we did the seasoning, we actually used mala powder. Mala, mala powder. Mala powder. Uh, so oh, you wow. know Chinese, they like to have that mala steamboat. Yeah. Uh, spicy and, and makes your tongue numbs. 
So we actually use that to, to, to season our potato salad. Fantastic. Okay. Shall we try um, cutting okay. this? Yeah. 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 Sure. Shall we try eating this? Let me help okay. you with um, that. Again, for those of our friends who are just joining us, we are seeing your Facebook messages. But if you have any questions you would like to ask David, this is your chance because this is a huge dish. It's going to take us a few minutes to eat. Just a few minutes. I know, guys. Uh, but if you have a question about uh, whether pricing, availability, whether it's for lunch or dinner, whether it's available for takeout, you can ask it right now on Facebook. If you're just tuning in right now to Hapa TV, David is right next to me uh, making sure that this okay, is ready to be Okay, what would you like to try first? Uh, do I try the tomahawk? Because I already yeah, got a piece of it. You already have it. Yes, did. he did. Because he halfway did. through, I realized that I was looking. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. I can't. You already had it. I know. Kevin. Look at that, though. There we go. Gloves and all. Kevin's going to take a beautiful photo of the tomahawk. Of so, myself. this is the chop. <laughs> Technically, in, in the market, probably you will find a pork chop. So, actually, this part will be the chop. And then um, there's another part which is near the bones. There's the rib part. It also um, it's similar to uh, the lagrimas. So what I'll do is just cut it up for your thinly slice. And this particular piece of meat has been brined wow. for eight hours. You're slicing it very nice. I wouldn't have done that good of a job. Mine looks like a piece of pork yeah. chop. <laughs> because I have two ladies right in front of me, you know. Oh, if, if wow. the, Sorry, Kevin. If, so, if, no, if for no, the guys, no. it will be a little bit rough. <laughs> I can relate to that. Oh, what? Because you like things rough. That's true. Mm. The bigger but, the piece of meat is, yes. the more happy I am. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, one of our assistants just fell off the chair, so... <laughs> 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 I am the worst. <laughs> Okay, look, look at how, look how tender it is. Look, Kevin. Yeah. I can see it. Now I feel bad for like cutting my own slices. That looks so much better. <laughs> yes. Yours is a big slap. I know. Mine's just like yeah. whatever it, it's on okay. the dish. His slap is macho. Ah. Uh, can I have the plate? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Actually, it looks like petite. Plate. But hey, don't just, say that. I just serve it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you can just serve it Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Goodness and again, uh, if you're watching, if you would like to win yourself a prize, it doesn't have to be now. If you're watching this late, the yeah. contest will run for go. 24 Thank hours. Uh -huh. Like, share, and comment the password, which is half a barn. Do it right now. Half a barn. Yeah. There we go. If you've reached this part of the video, just do it already. It's easy to win. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it smells so good. Tell us what you think of the smell. Um, thank you. You're most welcome. Smell. Well, Kevin, I'll be nice. I'll oh. let you try the macho one and also the gentle one. So you actually get to taste two different textures of meat over here. Okay. One is the chop. So whatever that you're having now is mm -hmm. supposed to be the tougher part. Because the this is the white part? meat. Yeah. But you, it won't be tough because we brine it. Mm. Yeah. I was gonna put the whole thing in my yeah, mouth, because but since chop. everyone's cutting it up, I might as well right. cut it up. Wait, you guys are cutting the tiny pieces? It is tiny pieces. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are tiny. No, I was gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. Same! I'm usually more used to that. Mm. Okay, we, we haven't caught Kevin. Okay, you're enjoying yourself, on you? Okay, we're gonna see how Kevin... No, yeah. Kevin, Kevin's Sorry, gonna, no, Kevin's no, gonna no. show us how he's... <laughs> without cutting, yeah? Without cutting. Okay. Ready? He's already sliced it, so this is already a very What's classy it? experience. Oh, you want to hold this and just give yeah, it a open bite? Open your mouth. I, sure, ma'am. Ma'am, this is the Barnes. <laughs> it's not hard, love. It's not. It's not yeah. hard. Mm. It's supposed to be hard. David, you know? no hard. That's not a complaint. <laughs> That's like, David, David, it's not yeah. hard. It's more like. The texture is really nice. It fills the inside of my... Okay, nothing I say matters. Kevin's um, telling David it's not hard. Yes. Mm. Oops. David, it's not hard. We're going to keep it But quick. right now, you're cutting the softer part. Yes. So I'm very excited. Good. Should I mix it together to eat it? Like one by like one you after another? You can try one after another. Mm. Then you can see the difference. Because there's a part that near the ribs. This so is the are softer. you eating the hard one or the soft one now? Right now, I am going to the more tender one. You know, to put it nicely. That's the lagrimas. Mm. Okay. It also looks darker. Yep. Why? Darker? It what tastes different darker. too. It tastes different, definitely. That's why tomahawk actually, when, when you order a tomahawk, you actually get to enjoy two parts of the meat. Mm -hmm. One is the chop part. Pork chop, 
normally tends to be tougher mm -hmm. because that is the that's the tough part of well the white meat so it's a bit tough this is the part where it's near the bone the rib cage yeah so that's why the just like they say pai kuat so hi, hi, hi. yeah okay, so that's, so pie that's the ribs correct yeah. that's shop ribs they got go chop my leg see when you eat pork chop ah right so like when, pork when shoulder you, like that yeah. okay shoulder not so not so which is the tender one this one i'm the gonna give one. you the pai the ribs, the ribs. Oh. Yes. oh the one you this tried the, ribs. the one yeah. i tried it's okay. super soft just, and it tastes very different i'd recommend Thank trying the, uh, the regular cut first before yeah. trying the more tender yep. one yep uh, but i think you're gonna love it Oh my god, Liang, Liang, you're on, you're, you're tuning in. Liang, you're gonna come here at the barn in one more Kara. You love Suyo, you love Jiyo. This is the place. Pork <laughs> fat roos. Pork, what? I call it pork fat roos. Pork fat roos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rules, you know, right? Rules. Okay. So you can try this, the part where it's. Oh. Sorry. 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 Yeah, this is a tender one. This is the one that, the rib part. This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. Yeah. Yes. Happy, happy, happy. I feel happy. like it's Chinese New Year. <laughs> I feel like we're back in February, which is such a good time. You guys, well, remember that's February? Mm. Yep. This is the, 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 the pie part. That's the, that's the chop part. There's a chop part? Yes. Guys, it's a chop part. Right? Yeah, which, yeah, you can. Which is actually what? Less tender. It's supposed to be uh, hard, but because we brine it, we brine it for eight hours, so why we brine it is because we want to use the natural ways to tenderize it, which is only salt and sugar. Okay, mm. so guys, yeah. so this part is supposed to be the, the less tender part, the harder part, but look at that, you know, look, it just came off, just like that, yeah. see. So can you imagine the tender part, the pai what part, oh my god, Eugene. Pai what? Mm. Yeah, pai what, you know? Pai what? Ribs, ribs, <laughs> yeah. very nice. You need to come out with us a little bit more often, Eugene. <laughs> just one, just one. I'm learning. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> you guys are so polite just, normally. Just one, yeah. when, when like when one person is explaining, one. the other three would just start eating just so that when it's their turn, they can also explain. And you guys are just like, we'll just wait. Whereas yeah, I have I'm, emptied my plate. I'm stuffing myself. This I this one here, I'm trying. It's okay. really juicy. Hey. What about that? Yeah, because really because of the eight hours that we like kept in the that? the brine. Wow. Because right. brine is practically is water. Herbs, salt, and uh, mm. sugar. Water. Salt and sugar, and salt some and other sugar. and some other herbs that we will put inside to uh, to give it that aromatic flavors. Wow. That's and how many hours do you do eight. that? Eight hours, yeah. right? Wow. Minimum eight, but eight, you okay. can do it overnight. Oh my That's god! That's how you tend to rise. I would love it. for people to rub sea salt over me for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, but is that is that why the then the meat becomes tender? Yes. Because before okay. we do I'll that, we Kevin. actually puncture the muscles. You eight heard that? You, did you hear eight, that? Eight minutes. No, darling, did you hear what Chef said? You need to puncture. You want to be yeah, rough salt and all? You need to puncture. Stop the, doing that. Do the you want to be punctured? <laughs> no, I'm saying, Dang did say. You, you look like you're born to hand jive, honey. Um. <laughs> I, I just repeating what David said. Yes. David, can you please repeat it? What do you yes. do after the I hour? heard him. <laughs> We actually yes. have to puncture the the, the meat first. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to be punctured? I don't think you want to be punctured. Oh, you don't know. We're gonna break the muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you want to okay. break my muscles? Okay. So, oh my God. By the way, way when you're trying this, you can mm. try it together with the mala. Mm, that? Yes. That's the mala. Mala. Mala, mala potatoes. potato salad. Okay. Nice okay. okay. mala potato salad. This the mala okay. potato salad. You can help yourself with that. Um, no Eugene, way. what do you think of the um, what do you think of the the the, 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 the chops? Like? The chops are fantastic. The, uh, Thank you. The soft one. Another cutting board. I'm just gonna cut the other one. Really, really good. The, like the texture and, and it's a different kind just of salt. Just another cutting board. Nice. Yeah, it is. Back. It's it's that sexy pork. Sexy pork. Sexy, sexy pork. Sexy pork. pork. I want that Eugene. to be my nickname. <laughs> Please welcome sexy to the main pork. stage. Sexy pork. Sexy, sexy pork. pork. Okay, that's how Eugene have described. Eugene have described the. The this, right? is very, the this is a very common thing in my country. Okay. Sexy pork. <laughs> can we, yes. can yes. we get another pork? A pair of pork and knives. Is there another? Sure. Uh, another are we going to go with that now? The, the would anybody knife? like um, these? Eugene. I have one. Would one. Like, yeah. I would like to try that cold pork and knives. Uh, no. So yeah, cold. Sure. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You need this? Okay, we're yes, going to go with the next one. I'm going to shoot. Yes. Thank you. Okay, while you're enjoying that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the knuckle for you. I'm going to show you. Ooh. How the knuckle looks like. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you hear, I'll let you hear the, 
I love the sound. Do it again. Let me. Let me. Do it again. Give the mic. Oh, wow. <laughs> and sexy pork. Oh, yes. <laughs> sexy pork. <laughs> that just happened. To me? I'm no. kidding. I know what you're talking about. Okay, David, <laughs> show us. So I'm just going to cut it out. Uh, oh, yes, please. Wow. Yes. Oh, you can oh, hear no. that. You can hear that. It's still crispy, even. Yeah. I want to take my microphone off and just put it next to the thing. Can you do that? Yeah. Can you do that? I know what to do. More, David. I would like to see the reaction of you guys enjoying the sauerkraut. Jason, yes. Do you want to give the password again while we're cutting yes. the? Yes. Okay. So early on we said we're gonna give away 50 ringgit cash vouchers. So all you have to do is like this video, share it, and also no key skin. in the password yeah, in the comment, which is half a barn. Okay. H a p a b a r n. Half a barn. Thank so you, Jason. Do it. Thank you. Welcome. So so um, such a professional. How's the coleslaw, by the way? Cool. Yeah, not the coleslaw. It's That's not sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. It's sauerkraut. 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 It's a, yes, you have some on your yeah. plate. Yes. It's a big old. Uh, it's a it's a homemade uh, barn style sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Because like like we mentioned earlier, when when we order those um, imported sauerkraut, it tends mm. to be too salty. Yes. For the local, ex I mean the local taste bud, they won't take such a salty um, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why that we we actually make our own that's yeah. not so salty. It's more towards sourness. Yeah. yeah it's got a bit of crunch to it as well. So it has crunch. crunch. Yes. And then it's much crunchier, so you feel the freshness. It is. It and is. I've just had some of the potato and there's a whole bunch of spiciness. Yes, it's mala powder. Yeah, we use mala. Yeah. Mala. You yes. can feel the heat. Sichuan yeah. mala. Yes. Yeah. I've heard about that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's not super spicy, but it's definitely there. The powder, the kick of it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let yeah, me I just move this. Let's move yeah, this away. No, it's okay. I can just leave it. Move. Right. I think, David, yep. you can sit back down and explain this to us. I think we can help ourselves for okay. our knuckles. Okay. Tell, tell, That's us more, exciting. tell us more about this. Can we part to you on you, Oh, uh, You can Start. just enjoy. Is it not all the same? Tell you a little bit uh, more about the dish. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's one more thing that... Uh, one of the things that um, we actually serve with a lot of salad, a lot yeah. of greens, is because that when we eat fatty food, we need something to balance it. Yeah. That's the reason why that we, we actually give you another salad. If you feel like um, the, 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 the... Yes, correct. If the pork is a little bit too fatty, you can always wrap it. <laughs> With the lettuce. Mm -hmm. and oh, the, oh uh, that, just that, like a that? little bit of a Korean. No, like yeah. the Chinese families do that, right? Yeah. Like they just wrap the, the, the Chinese thing with chicken into the, the, the lettuce and they. Mm. And then, uh, and then uh, on our salad, we actually. Oh, fei dou, fei dou, we actually, <laughs> put a, we actually have oh, a. Oh, God. We actually have a dressing okay. on top of the salad. You should try it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, what what so happened? That's a new shooter that we've invented. <laughs> Can anybody zoom into this one? Oh, oh, this this is Jennifer's oh, wow. <laughs> this we've is got Jennifer's pork knuckle beer. Pork knuckle yeah. beer. <laughs> she had a pork knuckle Jennifer, beer. Can you take a bite, drink of this, and just tell very, how it very creative, like? very creative. Let's okay. let's see how it tastes. Oh, that is great. Oh, Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yes. Pork knuckles <laughs> and beer. <laughs> the best Cheers. combo okay. ever. Cheers. New dish: pork knuckle beer. Guys, we are running out of time, so we need to at least have a taste of this yeah. and, yes. and talk okay, about uh, how we feel that. about the pork knuckles, okay, shall we? Time. We'll get you another beer. Thank, thank you. you. Thank You're you. most welcome. Okay. So. so anyway, the salad, yes. you should try the salad. Salad with uh, it? Yeah, the salad green right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, the dressing is a little bit unique. It's homemade. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. I love salads. And you can enjoy the pork together with the red wine sauce. There's this okay. particular sauce that we have here. 
and you can use it. With red your, wine. It's red oh, wine sauce. Oh, thank you. Wow. wow. Should you just spoon for that? Um, this is clean. Yeah. Thank you. Did you want some red wine? I would like that. Thank you. Okay. You need a sp Okay. That's pouring. Kevin? Yes, I would love it. Thank you. Thanks. That's good. Hmm. Is there anything you would like to tell us about the uh, the pork knuckles before we move on yeah. to desserts? Yeah. Um, nothing much. Okay. <laughs> keep, keep keep the secrets. Oh, yeah, keep the okay. secret. Right, well, right. this is uh, is the pork knuckle also only available for um, Oktoberfest? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's only uh, currently it's going to be available for Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, Where will you, mm -hmm. And it's Where for the whole month of October. Yes. Until Would early maybe our first two weeks of November. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. We're not Christmas. Uh, We're not all the way to Christmas. Mm. We'll see what the reaction is. I have to ask my mama. Mama. Your mama. <laughs> yeah. My marketing mama. Oh, your marketing mm. mama. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't this be a great thing if mom just like burst out of the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. Yeah. But what do we think okay. about the pork knuckles, boys and girls? Okay. Eugene with the back. sauerkraut. Yeah, you should mm -hmm. try the pork knuckle with the sauerkraut. I had it with the sauerkraut and. It's good, it's balanced, it's nice. It's like I had some of that crackling. The skin is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank like, you. It's a really, really good dish. Thank like, you. The beer makes it fantastic too. Yeah. yeah. So for the ladies, if you all felt that they have too, it's too meaty, you can always try it with the salad. Oh, I just did. Whatever yeah. he said, I just did everything. While he's explaining, I'm just like, okay, with some some sauerkraut, beer, it's amazing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the, the, the fact that it still remains tender, mm. right, and it's moist, and I think the balance of the, the fat and the lean meat, that's right. where, in, in a crispy skin, yeah, that's what, that's what that really blends in really well. For there the is a knuckle. secret to the knuckle. Right, okay. Because the most important, if you want to have the balance of fat and also the lean mm. meat, the most important thing is the size of the pig that you mm. choose. Right. Oh, it's do you use piglet? No, because the, 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 you cannot use big size, oversized pig to right. uh, to to slaughter. I feel very left yeah. out. Why can't you use a very big pig? Size of <laughs> because the fat and the balance of the between the fat and the lean okay. meat. Okay. Will, I swim two more weeks. I come back and look for you. Okay. Uh, Jason, would you like? Uh, you, you've tried it and you like that. Yes, I like and that. You? I you? do. I do. I like. The fact that there is the blend of the fat and the lean meat and the crispy skin, mm -hmm. all in one, very moist. Yes. Uh, with the beer. Yeah. With the beer. Really, the beer really is here. Try the now we're beer. running out of time, so okay. we would like to uh, just show everybody here that if you're dining here, of course there are salads, the there's pork, yeah, thank you. but more importantly, there are also desserts, so you can ah. eat and then enjoy um, some lava cake after your meal. Wow. Oh. Okay. Would you look at that? Should we try the lava cake already? Well, you know what? Should we cut it, are you, cut are, it open? Are, are you done eating? Are you I'm done not, eating? I'll, I'll eat later. I'll eat it. Okay. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Already. I'm just going to turn this around. I'm not allowed to clear it because yes. I want it. Okay. Okay. So they can, you so can let's cut see. the... Let's show you guys the lava cake. Okay. So David wants us to cut. Yeah, Why don't ladies, you do the Ladies, please. Okay. Why don't you do the honor? Okay. I will yep. this. Yeah. Okay. We need a. So, what do we. Just your spoon? You just, yeah, you just have to cut it too. Okay. Can we do it? Are you ready, Kevin? Yes. Okay. Can we do that? Oh! oh I'm sorry! Oh. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, she God. pops it. Uh, oh, push it inwards. Uh, push okay, it in. Okay, okay. Oh, God. I'm not, not used to this kind of pushing in, but. Uh, it's an eruption. Jennifer you know, today. lava cake. Eruption. Has put pork inside her right. beer. <laughs> <laughs> She's erupted a lava cake. She erupted did. a lava cake. Yeah. Okay, you show I can see you. You, you can have a. You can have a bite. Yeah. You can have a taste of it. Oh, oh God, it's leaking. Oh. <laughs> Jason, we're gonna try this. Yes, I should. Okay, it's gonna be Jason. We're gonna try just the chocolate. Ooh. Just the chocolate. Just the chocolate. Mm. Oh, wow. Just the chocolate. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 还在吃哦, Eugene? 还在吃, 还在吃, okay, Eugene's gonna try. Yep. Eugene, everyone has to try. Oh, that is so good. Oh, 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 oh Jennifer, be careful. That out. No worries. We can, we can, he can do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. He See can do Eugene? it. Oh, Jesse. Just the chocolate. Yeah. Just the chocolate. Okay, Eugene, tell us. Mm. 
Just the chocolate. Mm. That is good. Oh, you have to mm. chocolate with, together. Mm. Look at that. Look at that face. Double lick, triple lick. Mm. Oh, You're trying yes. to do that. Oh, with God. Ice cream. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys. You're supposed to try with the ice cream. Okay. Uh, so, Jaisal, uh -huh. I know you and I can okay, eat, right? So, we're just going to do it again. Of course. Yeah, yeah, give me your but, spoon. But I need a clean, clean can spoon, right? Can you give a clean spoon, please? A clean spoon. Okay, that will come afterwards. In that case, okay. I will help myself. Oh. Kevin, camera is on Jason. Mm. Can you put it? No, can, can you clean Do you want a yeah, a clean spoon? Clean for my You're telling me I, there's nobody around. Jason, <laughs> there's it's literally no one around me. I don't know how to get you one. Um, okay. Can we Jason, get a where's your spoon? You can now? we get a clean? She would like spoon? to have a clean spoon. Yes, sure. please. There we go. We still have clean spoon. No, we were hoping the message right would convey yeah, to you. Nice <laughs> but it did. Oh, thank you so okay. much. Okay. 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 So Jason's gonna. I'm also gonna grab some of the strawberry because mm -hmm. I love strawberries. Okay. All right. And All right. then the ice okay. cream. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jason. I'm gonna get a big scoop of it. Yeah. Look at that and. Hopefully it fits in my mouth. Mm. Okay. Sir? Mm. Mm. Does it oh. fit? I love I love the hot and cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The chocolate it melts nicely with the ice cream. Yeah. And it's so perfect. And the okay. strawberry gives it like a slight acidic I mean, that's sweet. Okay. That is the reason we love lava. Oh, Thank you so fun. much for giving us desserts. Yeah. You are most welcome. I didn't know that so was David, coming. tell us a secret. How do you get this lava cake melting like that? Uh, timing. It's all about okay. temperature so and timing. Temperature and timing. Yes. So the cooking time and the temperature of the oven is very important. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Eugene, since you're since you've yes. had your desserts, and we're gonna get to the meat later, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So after the camera is cut off, we're gonna mm -hmm. start eating again. Yeah. But what do you, what are your um, what are your thoughts on tonight's meal? So I had a couple of things which I most probably would not order uh, if I had come in here uh, normally, and really really cool stuff, right? Like uh, the rat tails, which <laughs> <laughs> I would not go for. Um, I think was really good and something I and the, the pasta in fairness was uh, really really interesting. Thanks something I could definitely go for again. Yeah. Right. But everything like the pork knuckle was great. The uh, the pork chop was good. The dessert was fantastic. So overall, a really good balanced meal. Right. Great. Great to hear. How yes. much do people usually spend, not while eating like everything on the menu, but when right. your customers come here and they're just having maybe one or two beers and ordering a couple of dishes, how much would their bill normally be? Per person spending, mm -hmm. probably you're looking at a range um, between 50, 80 if they're just 50 ordering to 80. beer. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's uh, at the level yeah. of a lot of places yeah. with um, like similar yes. kinds of food. Jaisal, would you, with that in mind, was mm -hmm. the, would, would you recommend this to your friends? I will bring my friends, I'll bring my family and, and I've eaten it at the barn before and I love the food and I came back here to try different dishes and I really love it. Thank you. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not disappointed at all. Oh, that's good. Cool. I love it. Wow, yes. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Jen Ong is actually our official taster herself. She's the main reviewer. So Jen, I would like to ask you, which was your favorite dish? Was there anything that stood out to you? Actually, I really like the tomahawk. Yeah, I really, really do. Uh, you know the the the, the tenderness. Mm -hmm. That you know the fact that you said the ribs were good mm -hmm. uh, because that's where the soft part is, the tender yes. part is. But then the part that you say is not meant to be tender was actually right. really tender. And I would have, I would like to take that with the pasta. Uh. Yes, I would prefer to take the tomahawk with the pasta. Well, tomahawks here, pastas uh, here. Yeah, so I would put that combination. And actually, to be honest, I really love the pizza. I oh, really yeah. love the pizza. Yeah, the cereal pizza. It's the first time I've ever had a cereal pizza. Yeah. But I will come back and just order that, okay? Yeah. Uh, dessert, I'm not a dessert person, really. I don't really, uh, um, I love, well, okay. I don't really enjoy sweet stuff, but then I do take d different desserts at certain times. But I have to say this dessert, it's really done very well. Yeah. Thank you. Again, it, it melts. The lava really <laughs> melts, and the the blend of like you said, the yes. hot and the cold was really really good. So, so yes, I'll come back again for sure. 
you know, to enjoy your Oktoberfest platter menu. Thank you. Sure. Hope to yeah. see you all soon. Thank you so much for having us. After having so many dramatic reactions to the food, <laughs> I actually forgot that we had the pizza. Now they remind me, I'm like, oh yeah, that was in my mouth at some point tonight. Yes, it was. Well, boys and squirrels, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope you had a good time. And uh, before we go, we do have to present something quite important yeah. to David here. He is the GM for branding uh, at the barn for all eight of their outlets. Make okay. sure you check them out and make sure if you rewind a little bit, you will get the password in order yes. to join the contest. But shall we present something for David? Yeah. Of course. Let's do it. Let's do that. Okay. Now we're gonna stand uh, right here in okay. the middle. So, Jason. Okay. okay. Huh? Here you go. Maybe David, you you want to stand in the in yeah in the middle. middle. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. Mm. I'm stuck. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Go. So guys, we're gonna come close a little bit. Okay. I'm so I'm trying to use his body to cover <laughs> mine. <laughs> oh, you wanna? Okay, sure. <laughs> I can stand like this. Okay. So congratulations, David. Congratulations Thank you very to much. the barn. Uh, the barn is our eighth tasted outlet, our bar tasters, and we have not, like Jason said, not been disappointed. It's been really good, very good experience. I will come back here again, and I recommend that you come over to the barn uh, at Moncara and all the other seven outlets to taste their special menu, right? And last but not least, Thank remember you. to use the word Hapa Barn in order to win the prize. There, I said the password. Also, mm. to the barn, one Moncara. You've you been tasted. tasted. Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to be back in a couple of days. In the meantime, log on to facebook.com slash hapawow for more food reviews. Right. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. We've enjoyed the dinner and we recommend you come here and try it out and catch us again on our next episode, episode nine. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but we'll see you then at Hapa TV. Thank you. Bye. Bye.